What's up, everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the white spark, the white spikes from the new movie called Tomorrow War. That's just fire. Y'all should check it out if you have it. It's on Amazon Prime. Um, the white spikes versus the xenomorphs, the black aliens with the penises on the head, basically. And I'm gonna be t discussing who would win and shit like that. Also, there will obviously be spoilers in this video for the both series. If you haven't seen any of the Alien movies, then that's definitely on you. But watch out because there will be spoilers on the Tomorrow War, kind of. Because I'm going to be talking about the gen genetics and shit that the White Spikes be doing in the movie. And yeah, so before I, I just give you a definitive answer of who will win, let's talk about their stats and shit like that. Okay. Now for the white spikes, they're they're hundred percent like bulletproof and shit like that. Um, except for two spots, the belly and the neck. That's why every time they get shot out, um, they cover up or they like lean down because everything else is bulletproof. Like nothing can pierce their skin. The only thing that we've seen that really damages them, besides these two spots, is when they drop bombs on them and they seemingly die. Um, they are, they're decently fast, they're able to catch up with the, you know, the soldiers when they're running, um, they're definitely faster than humans, just like pretty much any animal that's on earth, if you're not trained, then you're most likely gonna get caught up to by almost any animal, um, also, they, they have projectiles, they're able to shoot, the they have like two tentacles and and first off with the two tentacles they could just hit you around and shit like that but these two tentacles also can shoot these spikes hence the reason why they're called white spikes and these spikes are they got a they pack a punch because every time someone gets shot they're usually getting tossed back like a, a foot a yard or something like they get tossed back pretty far um and these one shots usually just kill the humans too, and I haven't really seen it from the regular white spikes, but the queen one, I know she's able to, you know, make them reload somehow. I don't know. They didn't really go in depth with it, but she can make them reload, and she does it decently fast. Um, I say the only downfall for them is probably their immense size, because. It depends on where they're going to be fighting the Xenomorphs. Because um, moving on to the Xenomorph stats. We know that the Xenomorphs, they're able to fit through these tight spaces. They're pretty agile. And they're, um, you know, they're able to fit through stuff. They, they're like the ninjas, basically. They they um, they can accommodate the area, I guess you could say. They, they can adapt to the area and understand it. Um... Their durability, they're pretty, they're decently bulletproof. Bullets have been shown to, like, damage them, but you gotta be, you gotta shoot them a while, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, their tail, also, they can stab you and stuff like that. Also, these guys are pretty smart. Like, why do you think they have a big ass head? I think that they're smaller, smarter than the um, white spikes, hence the reason why they're able to adapt and change and overcome the environment and think. Um, so yeah, there's that. Also, because they are pitch black, they could fit in with the darkness, and it'll be harder for the um, the white spikes to see them. Now I know that the xenomorphs don't have eyes. I I can't. I think it's just smell or hearing. Um. But the white spikes also have a, a great sense of smell. Because if they smell your blood, they're going to run towards you. Like what they did in the movie. And I don't, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to distinguish and figure out what the blood is like or smells like on the xenomorph. But that's also another point for the xenomorph. Because let's say the white spikes do bite into them. Um, the xenomorph's blood is acid. So now... The mouth is going to be burning from the inside. And, you know, just, they could just, even this, like, 
the xenomorph might sacrifice himself or a part of himself, or even the partner, depends on how many, you know, there could be two, two, three, and three, I don't know, of them that there are, because in one of the xenomorph movies, I think it was, I can't remember which one, I'm pretty sure it's the one where they cloned Ripley, one of the xenomorphs realized that their blood was acid, so he, or she, whatever, and the other xenomorph, Jumped the third xenomorph, killed them, made them bleed, and made the acid, um, like break the floor so that they could go down and escape. That's smart. I'm telling you, they have a big ass head for a reason. And then, also while they're doing this, they didn't really get affected by the acid, so maybe they're immune to it too. I don't really know if the white spikes are. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure. Um, but for the sake of argument, let's just say that. They're a little bit um, immune to it because they have thick skin. They're not super immune to it. Um, also, they're much bigger. Like, if it was queen on queen, that's different because the xenomorph queen could grow exponentially forever as long as they live. But the regular xenomorphs, I mean, are, yeah, are, they're way smaller than the regular white spikes. Um, also, because bullets are able to affect the xenomorphs and we've seen that the spikes from the white spikes are able to launch these people uh i think it's safe to say that the white spikes spikes would pierce the xenomorph and possibly kill them with like one or two shots uh and yeah that's pretty much it i don't know what else to talk about oh yeah i gotta talk about who would win um Due to the fact of the white of these projectiles, I'm gonna give it to the white spikes, and they're also much bigger. I don't know if they're stronger because they were held back by like four people. I can't remember if the queen. I'm talking about the queen. She's a little bit bigger than the rest, um, and yeah, she was like held back and pushed into a cage by four people. So I was like, what the hell? She's kind of weak, to be honest. But other than that, I'd say. The white spikes have it in the bag.